Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo, and today we're going to be taking a look at Cobol's inventory and admin in my Discord. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video, and let's get straight into it. So first of all, we are looking at his uh, profile here. It looks really, really aesthetic. It's got a good overall theme to it, which I think is really cool. It's, it's important to have a profile like this. So let's get into the important part, the inventory, and let's get started with the investments. Alright guys, so as you can see, the first page here has a lot of cases on it, and we're going to kind of do that at the end. So we're going to start at the back of his inventory, so we'll kind of do a quick little scroll through here, kind of, kind of see what we're going to be looking at for this video, and we're going to start on the final page. So just looking at this page overall, he's got a lot of random skins on it, nothing too interesting to really talk about here. Uh, he, do, he does have some kind of older ones as well, like some older souvenir ones. He has a little chatterbox, which is worth about $3 in battle scarred condition, so pretty cool one there. And yeah, he's got a kind of, you know, like, a little bit of a trashy skin um, last page here. He does have a souvenir dual bread as Briar, which is kind of an interesting one to look at. Um, I don't think it's going to do very good in terms of an investment, but he does have some older gold stickers on it, like the Virtus Pro Gold, and stuff like that. So I think it's an interesting skin, but not something that I would say is a good investment. He also has some stickers right here, just some base ones from Capsules. Uh, nothing really too interesting to talk about there, but, you know, just something that is interesting to look at and you can definitely put it on some of his other skins he has an egg of dazzle which i didn't even know existed before this video but it's just a random blue he has a souvenir p90 ashwood just kind of a random souvenir skin that's not worth very much he has a crimson assault music kit which is kind of an older one which is cool uh, he has some service medals here and the diamond operation hydra coin which is pretty cool you don't see a lot of those out there he has a stat track swap tool which is pretty much worth its market value uh, he has another base uh, capsule sticker, and he actually has a Mirage pin, which is pretty interesting. I think the pins from the older series, like the Mirage one, and uh, obviously that Howling Dawn pin, are definitely skins, and I, I guess not skins, they're uh, pins. And uh, I think those are going to be really interesting investments going forward. Those are pretty cool little things to have in your inventory and display. Uh, he also has a P250 Asimov right here. It's a field-tested Asimov. And uh, I think the P250 Asimov is sort of an interesting investment. I think the people that are going into the trading scene that kind of have watched YouTube videos about the older trading scene that's existed in CSGO will kind of see the P250 Asimov as an interesting skin that uh, that they can get for cheap because it is an Asimov skin. So I think it's an interesting investment, definitely a cool one. He also has a really old Glock here. It's a Stat Trek Glock 18 Blue Fissure. This is from the Armageddon 3 collection, which is a very, very old pistol collection if you don't already know. Uh, it's not worth very much right now, but I think it does have a future because it's going to just get super, super rare going forward. Uh, obviously, this it's not in the game anymore, which is obviously going to help its value. Uh, next on this page, this is more of an interesting page here. We have five Operation Hydra cases. Those are always going to be a good investment just because they're always going to get more rare as time goes on. More people opening them thinking that they're going to get an op Oni Taiji when in reality they're just going to get a one dollar uh, Mac 10 Aloha. So pretty interesting uh, case investment here. He's got actually six uh, hydras total as well. Next he has some Krakow 2017 autograph capsules, which I don't think those are anything crazy. Uh, the Krakow stickers, in my personal opinion, weren't super great. They were definitely unique though, and they were different than the other stickers that were in uh, other majors. Um, but I do think that the Krakow stickers do have somewhat of a future if we go many, many years into the future here. Uh, obviously, we do have a new major coming up in, I think it's Berlin, right? So that one will get some new stickers on it. And I think that might, if they're good, they'll probably overshadow the Krakow ones and the older ones. Uh, next, we have a FAMAS roll cage here with some mouse sports cows on it and some other random signature stickers. Not anything crazy there. Uh, this page is kind of just a lot of graffitis and random skins that not a lot of people really care about or invest in. Uh, next, we actually have a, I think it's a full set, actually. I didn't bother to check, but I think it's a full set of Boston 2018 B stickers for every team. Uh, so he has the Astralis one there. He also has a Tyloo one, which is a lot more rare going forward. Tyloo hasn't been really going to any of the majors recently. So yeah, uh, he's got an interesting collection there with the uh, Boston 2018 B stickers. There's the Cloud9 one as well, which is the winners of Boston 2018. Uh, so, you know, he has two of those actually, which are pretty nice to have. And of course, he has the Flash Gaming one, uh, which does have quite a future in terms of rarity. So that one's cool to have as well. He's got some play skins here, uh, a Stat Trek USP Cyrex. This is a field tested one, uh, just an interesting play skin to have. I don't think the Cyrexes have a huge future in terms of an investment, but they're definitely a cool little skin to have. And, uh, you know, they're kind of nice. They, they look good at least. And uh, they're a good play skin to have. I don't know about an investment, but he does use this one quite a lot, which is cool. 
Uh, next he has a 5.7 case hardened, minimal wear. Uh, this one we'll actually check out in game in a second here. And uh, well, while we kind of wait for it to load up. And um, the 5.7 case hardened is actually a pretty cool one. And it's a, it's a nice uh, investment that can get rare as uh, time goes on. He's also got a Nova Hyper Beast Factory new and a Tech 9 Fuel Injector, which are both cool skins, and I both think they do have futures. The Fuel Injector Tech 9 for sure, just because of the AK. So uh, here's his pattern for his uh, 5.7 case hard into minimal wear. He does have a forward facing uh, blue, uh, which is actually kind of a rare one and kind of a unique and interesting one to have. Uh, so I do think that one is pretty cool. So uh, good on him for getting that nice pattern. Uh, next, we have a pretty interesting page here. First of all, we have a genuine Welcome to the Clutch pin. Uh, this pin, I think, is uh, just like the other pins, older, rarer, and it's going to just go up in value as time goes on. Uh, next, we have a Mac to Neon Rider and a UMP Primal Saber. I think out of those two skins, the Primal Saber is going to be a much better investment. Primal Saber is a very good looking skin, which means that newer players that are joining the game, especially since the game is free to play now, and uh, we're going to see an influx of players over time. I think that a lot of them will gravitate towards the Primal Saber once they invest a little bit more into the game. We have a Snacks Foil, not anything crazy there. We have a Glaive a Sticker, which is another you know, popular player, but not anything crazy in terms of an investment. Uh, next, we have an Op Boom with a Virtus Pro Dreamhack Hollow, a very old Dreamhack Hollow on this thing. I think those ones do have a, a really big future. I think those are really cool hollows. And of course, the Op Boom is only going to get more rare as time goes on. Um, and it's it's a really cool one. A lot of people actually really enjoy the Op Boom in terms of the skin. So I think that one's one of the best investments he has in his inventory. And next we have a Flip Knife Tiger Tooth Factory New. Very nice skin here. Really beautiful one. Uh, the Flip Knife looks super good with the Tiger Tooth skin on it. And of course the Flip Knife will be rising in price as time goes on. Just because, you know, it's kind of seen those price trends in the in the past. If you want a little bit more of in-depth information on the Flip Knives and, and their investments though, uh, you can go check out my previous video that I actually made on Flip Knives. Uh, next we have a, I think it's almost a full set of London 2018 stickers, which were a little bit more overshadowed. I actually think the Krakow ones were more popular than the London ones. Uh, these ones were really overshadowed. A lot of them are not worth very much, but he does have a Tyloo one and a Vegas Squadron one, which were kind of the more rare ones to have. So interesting to see that. Um, I wouldn't say it's a great investment though. Uh, next we have the Diamond Katowice 2019 play coin, which is pretty nice. Uh, it's cool to have one of those, you know. It actually has two in his inventory total, which is awesome. Uh, there's his uh, sixth Hydra case as well, as well as some Spectrum 2 cases. And he's got a lot of just random skins on this page. Nothing too crazy, nothing too crazy to point out in terms of an investment. Another Spectrum 2 case here. And then, of course, he has an AK-47 Redline field tested. Always a good skin to invest in. Very, very safe bet for sure. And then he has an SSG Dragonfire. Uh, not a great investment in my personal opinion, just one of those skins that a lot of people don't really go for. If people are going to buy an SSG, they tend to go for the cheaper option, which is the Ghost Crusader. So I think in terms of a play skin, it's a cool one to have, but not a super great investment, not something that you'll see rise anytime soon, unless they do something crazy by buffing the SSG, which it's, it's in a really good spot, so I don't think it's going to be buffed. Uh, next, we have an Aug Stymphalium. That one, I think, is actually a much better investment than the SSG Dragonfire. Um, the Aug Stymphalion, obviously, is an Aug. That's kind of the elephant in the room. And uh, the Aug has been through a lot of different nerfs and buffs and changes to the price and stuff like that, and the damage and the fire rate. And uh, we'll kind of have to see what happens at this upcoming major in terms of how many pro players use the Aug to kind of tell how uh, expensive it's going to be in the future and how nice of an investment it actually is. So that's cool. Um, moving forward, of course, we have the first page here. This is the one we kind of want to do our big spiel on. So he has a bunch of Operation Vanguard cases here. I, it counts up to 20 total. And uh, he does have some Chroma 3 cases and some more Spectrum cases and one Horizon case. So the Vanguard case is obviously the one he is investing in a lot more. Um, I don't think the Vanguard case is really going to see a huge price increase. I know those older Operation cases did see increases in price, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the Vanguard case is going to see a huge increase in price. It does have some interesting skins in it, like the Wasteland Rebel and a couple okay purples, but I think that in terms of an overall look, the Vanguard case is not something that is going to be super great going forward as an investment. It's just not... It doesn't really possess many good skins in it that would, you know, really drive up the value when it gets rarer and it's, you know, obviously taken out of the game. Um, but I do think the skin, uh, sorry, the case is 
it's a nice one. It's it's kind of a middle of the ground one. Uh, it's not a bad investment by any means, but I would say there are better cases that you could go for uh, with your money. So just kind of an okay one there with the Vanguard weapon case. Uh, though I do want to talk about the Chroma 3 cases. I think you should distribute a little bit more money towards the Chroma 3s and kind of away from the Vanguards. Uh, the Chroma 3s I think are a much better case investment just because of a few reasons. Uh, first of all, they have chroma knives in them, uh, which makes them obviously more desirable than the vanguards just because the vanguards don't have as good of uh, knife skins. And uh, you kind of are stuck with getting a lot of like boreal forest and safari mesh stuff in the vanguard weapon case in terms of knives. Uh, so I think the knife in the, uh, in the chroma 3 case is a lot better. Uh, just in terms of you know, just the knife alone. Uh, but other than that, the Chroma 3 also has a really good set of pinks here with the Fleet Flock, the Primal Saber, and the Asimov. All really good pinks that a lot of people use, and a lot of them are actually best in slot as well. Uh, also, it has the Chantigo's Fire and the Judgment of Anubis, which are both really high tier skins uh, for both of those weapons that there are for. And then it has not very good blues, but it does have okay purples with the uh, Galil and uh, you know, just some other random purples. But I think the Chroma 3 case is a better investment than the Vanguard case for sure. I also made a video on talking about more about case investments. If you wanna see that video, just go check it out. It's already up. And yeah, kind of just an interesting thing there. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much gonna cut it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I, w I do wanna give my overall rating real quick. And I think this inventory is going to be an overall rating of nine out of 10. I think it's a really, really diverse inventory and in a second here, we'll kind of go through some of the other stuff here. Uh, he does have a really, really diverse inventory, which is a huge positive. I like uh, inventories that are diverse, that go for a lot of different types of skins and a lot of different, you know, uh, spheres of skins and, and definitely uh, release dates of skins because that all has a lot of different factors uh, when it comes to investing in them and those rising in price. So I think because he has a diverse inventory, that's one of the main strong suits of it for sure. And then he has, of course, a lot of sticker sets, which is also pretty cool. Not any like hollow sets, which is like something that can be talked about a little bit farther. But I think the base stickers are still, you know, they're still a valid investment for sure. Of course, he has the flip knife tiger too. The flip knives are obviously going to be really, really huge going forward. Uh, then he's got that really awesome op boom with the old hollow uh, verta sticker on it. So I think that one's a really good investment as well. So yeah, I think all of these factors together, uh, also the Hydra cases, obviously, sorry, yeah, yeah, I, that's, that's another elephant in the room there. Um, the Hydra cases are really cool as well, and I think that uh, that's also a really great investment. I think those can obviously get rarer as time goes on. And yeah, that's basically going to cut it for his inventory, and that's pretty much all the notable things to talk about. If you guys want to be part of the series, just let me know in the comments below or on Discord. Thank you so much for watching, and let's roll the outro. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video as always. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave me a like or a dislike if you didn't enjoy it and tell me what you want me to improve in the future in the comment section below. I do have a Discord and a Twitter as always. Those links are both in the description below and you can go check those out. So guys, again, thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing to my channel if you want more content like this and I will see you all next time. Peace.